Hey, welcome to Behind the Play. If you haven't seen this series before, basically what we do is we work to break down as much as possible a good round by a pro player. And this helps to show you the ins and outs of each element that contributed to the round. So this week we're going to take a look at a round played on Train by Semphis. So like most of the clips we do here, it seems pretty straightforward, but the inner workings to the round are kind of cool. Let's run through them. Okay, so right off the bat, Quantic throws a series of standard smokes and flashes outside that teams usually throw when they're doing a quick take. They're not going to do it here. They are going to return to spawn and rebuy nades that they need for later, and they're going to kind of work picks. So HRG is thinking there's possibly a quick outside rush, and to defend this, they keep four of their CTs outside and just have Lucky spotting lower inner for feet, which is a perfectly fine setup as long as he can see all the way up into Brown Hall, which he can. He's actually going to catch a foot here and kind of fall back into position towards upper for the opening kill. HRG realizes now that the T's aren't coming out or there's some action in her, Lucky had that one kill, so they're going to rotate a CT from outside to inside. But switching over to Eskares, he's over on the opposite side of the map at Ivy, boosted up on the fence, and he would get a pick with his AWP. This pick is going to cause that floating rotator, who rotated to inner when Lucky got a kill, to go back to his previous spot outside, leaving Lucky alone at inner. So now you're Lucky, and what do you do? In his case, he's going to gamble that no T's are going to walk out of upper. His mindset is basically, hey, I got a kill at inner a long time ago, and now that the T's got a pick on the opposite side of the map, they have some room to work with. It's unlikely that the T's would now recommit to inner. Unfortunately for him, it looks like the strat is designed to put him in this type of situation, leaving upper as the place to take at this point in the round. From here, Quantic really wants to smoke right side Ivy to push into CT spawn by taking the left route. This way they can crunch inner if there's any defenders left here. Pretty difficult to do this though at this point. It's worth a shot, it's worth at most losing one guy, which I think they did, but they wound up falling all the way back with the bomb. So back to the CT's perspective, what are they thinking at this point? Well, FNS knows that there's no more action outside, so he rotates through Z, which is the right play. His only problem here is he has no idea where Semphis could be at this point, and it turns out he'd be in the perfect position to stop the rotation from both Z and from the back lanes connecting to CT spawn. So the strat, you know, at the beginning of the round, it definitely was just kind of a fake outside and then work picks type of deal. Quantic lost a guy early at inner, made up for it by getting a pick at Ivy, but then they knew that they had the CTs just spread out enough to have better odds of having a clear area of the map not being defended by the CTs, and in this case, it was upper. Thanks for watching, my name is Cake Builder. Check out our other videos at ESEANews.com.